we got some rather sad news for former NFL head coach Marty Schottenheimer. Marty Schottenheimer was placed in a hospice facility due to his fight with Alzheimer's disease. He is still alive, but he has been placed in this facility. Um, there has been a statement released, and it says, as a family, we are surrounding him with love. His wife, Pat, said in a statement, also speaking on the behalf of the couple's children, Kristen and Brian, and are soaking up the prayers and support from all those he impacted through his incredible life. And the way he taught us all, we are putting one foot in front of the other, one play at a time. Marty Schottenheimer is 77, and he was first diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2014. Um, just a little bit of background information on Marty Scheinheimer. We'll probably um, and we talked about him a little bit on this on this podcast on this YouTube channel, Nate. But we didn't talk a lot about him. But just a little bit of information on Marty. So Marty Scheinheimer coached the Browns, the Chiefs, uh, Washington. At the time, they were the Redskins and the Chargers. He po- uh, he has a career record of 205, 139, and one, uh, including including him making the playoffs a few times. He was named the NFL Coach of the Year in 2004 with the Chargers. And his NFL career ended in 2006 following a 14-2 and season with the Chargers and a divisional round exit from the playoffs. Um, he played six seasons as a linebacker for the Bills, 1965-1968, and the Patriots, 1969-1970. Um, so, yeah, you know what, Nate? Uh, before I pass this on to you, I just want to say best of luck to Marty Schottenheimer and um, sending prayers to him and his family. Hopefully, uh, he has... Obviously, Alzheimer's is not a disease where you can recover from it. Obviously, you'll have it for the rest of your life. But I'm hoping that he's able to live many, many more years of his life because he was a great NFL coach, a great mind, and a great person at that, too. So I'm passing on to you, Nate. Right, and I'm going to pick up on that. You know, um, um, you know, best of luck to Marty Schottenheimer and best of luck to his family. I'm sending prayers. Uh, and before I continue on with my thoughts, uh, this was reported by ESPN's Chris Mortensen. I don't think you mentioned that, but. You're welcome. Um, yeah, man. I mean, he was just, you know, even though he never really got his team to the Super Bowl, he was always a really good coach, you know. I, I, and I, and I give him the utmost respect. You know, he coached, a, he coached a very good Chiefs team. He's coached a lot of teams. The, the when the San Diego Chargers when they were when they were good, unfortunately, they didn't get too far. Uh, he coached Washington, the Chargers, you know, the Browns, all, all these teams, you know. And one thing he hasn't done is win the Super Bowl. And I, I got to be honest, I feel bad for him for that because he was just, he's just such a good coach, you know. Um, but maybe maybe his son Brian will, will do something similar to that. Maybe he maybe he can take a senior Super Bowl, learn from his father, and actually win it. I don't know. You know the the, the future is very unpredictable. Um, obviously, Al- Alzheimer's is very serious, and like you said, you can't. You know, you can't recover from that, which sucks, you know. It really does. But like I, like you said, I hope he lives many more years to come. Uh, you know, best of luck to him, best of luck to his family. And I'm just going to give it over to you again, Mario. Yeah. Um. As for Brian, he, he recently signed an agreement with the Jacksonville Jaguars to become their new passing game coordinator, which I find very odd because he was an offensive coordinator. But this is, subject is not on Brian. It's on Marty. And I mean, Brian's a very smart guy too, especially when it comes to the offensive side of the ball. And I like to think it's because of Marty. So, but again, you know, Alzheimer's, it hits, when it hits people, it really hits them hard, you know? And, and the worst part about Alzheimer's is it's such a slow, it's a slow disease, you know? It slowly takes you all away. So like, you'll slowly start losing and losing memory or you'll start losing, you know what I'm saying? You start losing basically key factors of your of your life it slowly happens but I do wish Marty the best of luck obviously he's been fa- placed in this facility because it is what's best for him it's he this facility is close to his house in North Carolina so I mean that's a little bit of some good news but I mean really you don't even want to hear him even having this in the first place but it is unfortunate it happened and we are sending our prayers to the Schonheimer family and Marty as well so with that being said, get well, um, get well, Marty, and condolences to his family. 